Hello everyone, David the Real Midwife here. This is a response to Classical Atheist video regarding creative grace. The purpose of my response is to highlight the errors that Classical Atheist is making and to show that his argument leads to polytheism. So the things that we are going to be covering here are the Orthodox view on grace, Roman Catholic views on grace, Classical Atheist misreading of Lagrange and Trent, his argument, and then finally his errors. What is our view on grace? Our view is quite simple. We have the essence energies distinction. And because we have the essence energies distinction, we can say that grace is an uncreated energy. And by the nature of the essence energies distinction, we can participate in the energies of God. Therefore, we receive the uncreated grace of God. This is an argument made by not only St. Maximus the Confessor in Ambiguum 7, but by countless Eastern Fathers in the pre-schism church. And so what is the Roman Catholic view? Well, there are three options. If we say that the cause of grace is uncreated and the effect of grace is uncreated, like how our view is actually, that will be wrong in the Roman Catholic view. Why? Because of absolute divine simplicity and because of the rejection of the essence energies distinction. Because uh, in ADS, the energies of God are, in, are identified with the essence of God. And because they are identified with the essence of God, you are getting the divine nature while when you're getting the uncreated grace. But scripture says that no man has seen God's face, God's face being the divine nature, and lived. The cause is created, the effect is created. And the argument that uh, classical atheist makes is the following. The cause is uncreated, yet the effect is created. Now, before we move on with his argument, I want to cover some of the errors he makes regarding Lagrange and Trent. So, he uses the quote from Lagrange, where he says that the grace of God is neither created nor concreted. We will say that, yes, uh, Lagrange is right, because Lagrange is talking about the grace of God, the grace that God has. The grace that God has, we admit that in the Roman Catholic view, the grace that God has himself is not created. The entire argument is about what we get. Is it uncreated or is it created? Lagrange then in the same argument uh, compares grace that we receive to created agents. Now if grace that we receive is uncreated, then why is it comparing it to created agents? Seems like a nonsensical thing to do. Aside from misinterpreting Lagrange, he also misunderstand the arguments we're making regarding Trent. So he, he says that uh, the canons of Trent is arguing against the Protestant notion of imputed righteousness. And we will say, yes, you are making a reply. I see that you're making a reply. Our problem is that the reply is wrong. What is the reply? In Denzinger 799, we see this statement. Finally, the unique formal cause of justification is the justice of God, not that by which he himself is just, but by which he makes us just. So the argument that the Protestants, the Catholics, and the Orthodox are making regarding this issue is the following. The Protestant says that we get the created, right, created justice of God, but we don't become just. The Catholic response is that we get the created justice of God, thus we become just. Whereas us Orthodox will say, both of you are wrong. We get the uncreated justice of God. That is what makes us just. So it's not a created justice. That has been our argument all along. And classical atheists didn't really respond to this. So what's the argument that classical atheist is really making? Well, he's using the Lagrange quote to say that the cause of this grace is uncreated. The grace that we are receiving, that, co that cause is uncreated. The effect, he says, has to be created. Otherwise, deification cannot happen. So the effects we are getting are created. And because of that, it elevates our souls to become partakers of the divine nature. That is really his argument. And then he uses the window analogy. So the window analogy is the following. There's a the light of the sun, uncreated grace. The light of the sun being uncreated grace. And the light uh, hits the stained glass window. And then we are on the other side receiving 
the light from the stained glass window. The light that we receive from the stained glass window is created light. It's a created light. So that's the argument that classical atheist is making. And it makes sense, you know. How is this really wrong? How is this how is this polytheism, David? What is wrong with this argument? Well, there's a lot wrong. The first thing is the cause being created or uncreated does not matter. It literally doesn't matter. What matters in this argument is the effects that we are getting. Classical atheist, as I will repeat, has stated that the effect has to be created. Otherwise, deification cannot happen. Saint Maximus, the confessor, disagrees with classical atheist. He says that we can get uncreated grace directly from God through his energies. And then classical atheist, uh, pretty much says the following he says that the effects of the the effect is deification right you get deification from the grace the deification itself is created created effects right it is a created deification now wait a second we have a created divinity and an uncreated divinity now that is the error of barleyam barleyam makes this error against saint gregory palamas and what does saint gregory palamas say saint gregory palamas says that this position is polytheist. You have a created divinity and an uncreated divinity. So not only is the argument that classical atheist making, uh, showing that grace, is, the effects that we are receiving is created, but also it leads to it being polytheist. And so to recap, uh, we have the orthodox view on grace that is patristic. We have a patristic view on grace. Uh, where the church fathers say that because of the essence energy's distinction, which is very key to this issue, we can get the uncreated grace from God through his energies. The created cause, uncreated cause debate doesn't really matter. It's effectively the same thing for this issue. Classical atheists misreads and misunderstand Lagrange's argument, and he dodges the main argument we're making regarding Denzinger 799. And lastly, Classical atheist uses the window analogy to show us how we get the grace of God. But as shown, this argument leads to polytheism. And so that will be the end of the video. If you like to click like, click subscribe. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter is TheRealMedWhite. Hope you enjoyed the video. God bless all of you.